Hi guys, and welcome to the next video. And today we're going to be super finishing some crown wheel and pinions, and I'm also going to show you how to calculate what the uh, ratio of the crown wheel and pinion would be for the final drive. So what I've got to do is three Atlas crown wheel and pinions, which are here. This is one matching pair. This is another matching pair which is the same and this is another one which has got a slightly different ratio and you can you can actually tell because the, the pinion's got more teeth on it compared to this and this crown wheel has got less teeth on it compared to this. I don't know if the camera's picking it up but I will show that in a moment. So as you can see these are a hardened um, heat treated finish this is a brand new one these two are second hand this is the one that is out of my pickup which broke at the last meeting uh, the tooth broke off it and went through the casing the last pickup meeting and we've also got to do two gear kits for a motorcycle as well um, so we're gonna count how many of these items there are make a log in the book and uh, and yeah get those and get those in, in the super finisher as well so to calculate crown wheel and pinion ratio it's pretty simple I'll show you what to do you need a calculator and then you need a sharpie or a paint pen and then what we're going to do is put a mark on one of the teeth and then we're going to count how many teeth are on the crown wheel first. So, one. Two, three, four, five, six. So there's 45. So we're going to put into the calculator 45. And then we're going to count the teeth on the pinion. So once again, just a little paint pen mark. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So then we do 45 divided by 12. And it's 3.75. So these first two, the second and two, are, they've got a ratio of 3.75. So what that means is for every turn this makes, this is turning 3.7 times, 3.75 times. Okay, so the one which is quite clearly different, although it's for the same application, we're going to do the same again. So paint pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirty-four. So we'll clear the calculator. Thirty-four divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to do divided by nine, and that's a three point seven seven. So there's not a lot of difference, but there is a little bit of difference. And what that means is, using this one would give a little bit more acceleration it's in a it's in a it's a, a basically like being in a lower gear um, so what that can do is change on, on a race circuit it would change the rpm of how you come out the bend it would put it in a higher so normally if you was running this one and you was at 4000 rpm when you come out with this one you might be at 4.2 or something like that there would be a calculation for it but it would go beyond tyre circumference and, and RPM and everything else so I, I, I don't know how to work that out without looking it up um, but that's how to calculate the final drive ratio it's the crown wheel divided by the pinion teeth so Sam's just switched the super finisher on once again we're only going to be using the front two chambers so we're just getting all the media wet at the moment. Right down how many there are? Yeah, in the book, 31 bits.
most often with uh, brake cleaner, which is also available in our shop. through the process the uh, compound's been washed off and now we're in the burnishing stage which will bring out the brightness so uh, we've got about another hour to go and then we'll uh, we'll do the big unveiling of it so the gearbox parts that we put in uh, we wasn't very happy with them late last night so uh, we, we put them back in today to try and get them better because they'd super finished but they weren't very shiny so they've been in for a fair while again now this is the fun part fishing it all out so I've turned the speed down and I'm just waiting now for the vibrations to bring everything to the surface like this and I'll show you what they look like when they're done so that's the machine off and this is the gearbox parts, the customer's gearbox parts, which look incredible. Once again, a really mint mirror finish. The springs have all come up amazing. All the gears and selectors and all that lot. And then this is one of our crown wheels which once again it needs just a quick wash off but it looks mega and then this one here is out of, this is the spare out of my truck so that's all done <clears throat> and then Sam's building my axle at the moment so I'll show you that because he's um, he's put the new crown wheel in there so what's that look like Sam show him what you've done crown wheel, crown wheel's there so the crown wheel once again just a, a mirror finish, it looks incredible. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so really happy with that. Top job. And then the pinion in there is done as well. Yeah, that's all done. You can't really see it because the um, this casing's dark, but it looks uh, looks mega in there. And then we've also done a customer's crown wheel and pinion. Who's is this end of this gearbox? That, that's the end of your prop. Oh, that's the end of my prop. That's done looking nice. This is another customer's a crown wheel done. And then we've also done the bearing races too. And then there's the two pinions for the customer. So we're just going to wash the soap off them that's left. And that is that. So it's uh, it's Wednesday tonight. We are trying to get the truck ready because it's media day on Friday in Donington. So we'll film that if that happens. Uh, there's only going to be a couple of trucks there, me being one of them, but there's a lot to do on my truck before we can make it there. And I've promised to take my wife to watch Bridget, Bridget Jones at the cinema, so I'm washing my hands and I'm going home. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one, which will more than likely be Donington Media Day, hopefully, or more work, who knows. So take care, see you later, to our.